of which I am so proud of you um, for what you have been able to achieve and just want to acknowledge and recognize you tonight and allow you to say a few words. Oh, good evening, everyone. And I am so grateful for you, Patricia, for acknowledging me. It, it means the world to me. It means the world to me. I am a crime survivor from the 80s, and I was a victim or of attempted murder three times, and this was before, yeah. oh God, I so the co-grand citizen was murdered, and there were no DV laws then, and so I had a no, restraining order, the man came countless times, but they said, unless you know, you're really hurt or you're dead, I'm not gonna do anything for you, and so, I held on to that for years. But then in 2000, I would say early 2000, mid 2000, I went to UCI, and some of my UCI family are here. And I was there on scholarship as an older adult. I'm 57, so I don't mind saying my age. And so as I was there, I'm in my 30s or so, yep, cheers. <laughs> and I joined a program called CARE at UCI, and I became a sexual assault advocate, and that was in 2007, and that's when I met Patricia. And it was during that time, I believe you were having the 5K, and the Code Brown Citizen's sister was there, and that's when the DV laws had changed, and I'm like, I'm getting involved in this organization. And so, at UCI, I completed two master's degrees. Then I went and I got my master's. I have my doctorate degree. And I am now a service provider. I am recently retired from community mental health for over a decade. And I have started my own practice where I am offering holistic therapy for us service providers. So we Patricia and I have been hosting some healing heart sound baths at her office, so we're having them for service providers, and I'm also providing community member advocacy for clients, free of charge, and life coaching, and I'm doing motivational speaking as well. And so I am so grateful for Patricia because she gave me a voice. When I heard about the law, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be a part of it. And so, that's where I am now. I came back to Patricia. I called her when I retired, and I was like, I want to be a part of everything. So I'm the, you know, part of the, the round table and providing different services as well. So I am so grateful to be here, to be amongst everyone, and to be on the other side and helping and giving back to other victims of crime. So I am grateful. Thank you.